welcome back to the episode of Jurassic Survival Dreamer Eternal. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the brand new update that we are checking out right here, right now, with my man, the dinosaur snowman himself. Look at that thing. It's freaking adorable, and that is only the beginning of this update that we have in store for Jurassic Survival. Something that feels so good to finally be able to say it again, because in case you boys and girls did not know, Jurassic Survival did go through pretty much a year to two year hiatus of no updates but now we're back and it feels good because there's gonna be some big stuff that we're gonna be going over a little bit later in the video as well but for now let's begin humble let's begin small and let's begin with one of the things that this new update did indeed diddly do bring our way and that of course being the brand new editing system this character customization something this basic has finally been added into the game and should you choose, you can be a lovely little lady now. Not to mention, if you are a lovely little lad, then you actually have the capability to customize yourself just a little bit. You guys can customize, as you guys can see, and pick between a couple of different hair colors and whatnot. I'm personally digging, uh, I'll go with this little kind of like brownish color over here. And we can even see the different hairstyles that you can rock as well. Oh, baby. We got the freaking like dreads out here too, man. We are rocking some good looks to say the least. I'm gonna go and, uh, uh, oh, oh my God. Dude, this is the stiffest ponytail I've ever seen. I feel like a freaking cockatoo. I love it. Oh my God. All right, well, this is definitely my go-to hairstyle over here, but for the sake of showing things off, let's go through some of the customization options that our female Lessie over here does have to choose between. The hair color and whatnot appears to be the same. However, it actually looks like she gets the exact same choice of hairstyles as well. Very interesting. Huh, that is actually kind of thrown, I kind of expected there to be a little bit more variety, but no, it looks like everything appears to be about the same in terms of the three options and the ability to choose between a man and a woman. But what I am going to do is, uh, where is my freaking, there we go. Dude, I'm loving it. I'm feeling like a dope caveman with this. Let's confirm those options. Let's take off the hat and, ooh. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, that is looking friggity friggity fresh! you love to see it, and oh yeah, in case you lads and lassies haven't noticed, it's freaking snowing! We got, we built a snowman in our free time, you love to see it, but the entirety of our base is now covered in this white layer of snow. But wait, Billy Mays here, there is more than just our little base over here being covered in this wonderful layer of white. If you follow me over to the world map, you can now see that the entirety of the map is actually drenched in this is snow, man. <laughs> see what I did there? Snow, man. Snow, comma, man. Eh? Okay, no. That's besides the point. The point is, though, we're going to be investigating some of these zones and seeing what changes the winter area or, like, the winter effect has brought. But this update did bring with it, by the looks of it, the ability for it to be snow-themed and follow with the fact that it is currently... I don't know, snowy. We'll also go and investigate airdrops and whatnot to try and get to the bottom of those, but definitely want to go and showcase that. But wait, this is where things get very interesting. And this is what I was freaking excited to talk about. Oh, mama. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this little thing over here, the incubator that enables you to grow a riding dinosaur, we got some good with this. First things first, let's learn it. Let's craft it. And uh, why don't we go and actually find a marvelous little place to plop this down. I'm leaving my hat off, by the way. You know, I want to rock the new hairdo over here. Hope that that's cool. Oh, man, we are looking fresh, to say the least. Why don't we go and equip our most terrifying of gaunts as well, so we really look swagalicious. Sorry about the burp there. While we are doing that, but let's go and toss. Oh, my God, that's a big boy. But as I was saying... Let's go and toss this incubator down. We'll go ahead and do it on the outskirts of the base. And let's go and see what we need to finish this. Because this is going to tie in with what I was talking about. I think you lads and lassies are going to uh, like that. But as we can see... Oh, what is this? The ceramic lamp. The final piece of the puzzle if we want to finish the incubator. We need that ceramic lamp. 
Everything else is attainable. We've actually started to stockpile teak planks and steel bars. And it appears that the purpose for that is this new incubator recipe over here. You can see that we got seven steel bars, eight teak planks, and we do have some teak logs that we got to refine as well. But the main way that we are going to be getting such valuable resources, of course, through laboratory alpha, something that we might need to go and pay a visit to a little bit later as well to see how things are going. But... The reason that I've wanted to begin the basic steps of building this incubator is because BOOM! There has been a lot of juicelicious information uh, coming out and this is the latest in that string of info. Here we have a little bit of a journal released by the Jurassic Survival Developers as a teaser. The most important thing about taking care of a pet dinosaur is a proper diet and maintaining activity. The red skin of a baby triceratops will get even brighter if a cub spends a lot of time outdoors. And on the right, we are seeing that baby triceratops, which is going to be one of what appears to be at least minimum two types of dinosaurs that we are going to be able to tame. And from what this information is telling us over here on the left side, if a cub spends a lot of time outdoors, that makes it seem like a we're going to be able to raise these dinosaurs it's not like we just get a fully grown dinosaur right and we're going to talk about this a little bit later here in a couple minutes as well but i believe the way this is going to work is that we go from finding an egg of our pet dinosaur to having to hatch the egg using the heating lamp that we just saw in the incubator and then we will get a baby a cub dinosaur which then have to grow by potentially bringing out along with us on adventures as it grows up and it gets stronger because that's going to be one of the main poles of these dinosaurs all right they're either going to be a fighting companion a type of vehicle that we will be able to ride on the back of on the back of and with something as big as a triceratops it's completely reasonable for a fully grown triceratops to be like something that we could saddle on up and giddy up there cowboy that's totally within the realm of reason or potentially even both it could be a vehicle that will take us to uncharted territories or it could also once we get to those uncharted territories help us battle similar to the true dogs of last day on earth and also the dire wolves of grim soul and just the pet system that we have seen unfold in a lot of mobile survival games boom but this was also released and this is why i was talking about i expect there to be at least two types of dinosaurs that we will be able to have because in this image well you are seeing exactly that it appears that the incubator when it is finished has two cages now i don't know if that literally means that we're only able to have two dinosaurs at a time or if that's just the way that it's going to look over on the map but we can see on the left what appears to be a little baby raptor we can see on the right what appears to be that baby triceratops that we just got a little bit more of an in-depth look at and there are two cages perfectly corresponding with it maybe we'll be able to upgrade the incubator and make more room for things but it does appear like there is one cage for each and i'm guessing the raptor would work similarly we gotta find an egg we gotta hatch it we gotta grow it up and i imagine that we could bring him along as a battle mount and or to follow us around like a true friend dog from last day on earth to actually battle except he's not a dog he's a dinosaur dude that that right there has me hype man be i don't know man that'd just be so freaking cool to have like a pet dinosaur literally helping us battle wherever we go or even just being able to ride it around but also with the fact that there only appears to be two cages and two dinosaurs both of which are completely different a little thing that might be different is that we might not even be able to breed these dinosaurs they might just be one hit wonders you get one dino and it potentially it might be really hard to get that egg to hatch this dino for example right in the first place so there might not really be a breeding system similar to the i don't know if the die wolves and grim soul have a breeding system but i know that the like dogs in last day on earth obviously do and other games as well of the mobile survival variety but that is definitely where i am seeing some of those differences and i definitely want to make sure to uh, point those out but boom 
The mystery is revealed. This is the little uh, text blurb that came along with this when it was showcased. Very soon you will be able to become a proud owner of Dino Babies. Meet a lovely baby Triceratops and a baby raptor. You will have a chance to find out more about them by yourselves and we'll say a couple of words about their behavior. It's no surprise that both of the dinosaurs are great companions in surviving. The baby raptor is fast and playful while the baby Triceratops is strong and friendly. Like all cubs, they love to sleep in their incubators. And there we are seeing that both the dinosaurs kind of do have their uh, own little own little benefits to each. And the fact that they're saying the baby raptor is fast and playful, I wonder if that means that the baby raptor might be able to attack very quickly or if it will literally be the perfect mount because we'll be able to ride it very quickly. Those are the two possibilities I'm getting from that little text blurb over there. And then with the baby triceratops, it's saying it's strong, so I guess that that might be able to be a heavy hitting, a more heavy hitting type of dinosaur. Or maybe it'll have the special effect of like, I don't know, maybe it'll be able to like move certain debris out of the way. Maybe there'll be like a certain location that we have to like move a massive boulder out of the way, like uncover an abandoned cave. And we need the baby Triceratops to open it up. So a couple of really cool possibilities over there. And boom, we also have this image that I've yet to talk about, but definitely wanted to show off. This egg was first found in the depths of jungles and we can see what appears to be a little baby dinosaur inside of that egg but this of course plays into the whole egg slash growing and raising your dinosaur ecosystem this appears to be the first step and we were just taking a look at the second steps of the cubs now the fully grown dinosaurs are what have me interested the most obviously but definitely want to make sure to go and show this off especially because it looks like it was first found in the depths of jungles so either there's going to be some sort of a new jungle location we'll be able to go to to try and find this egg or maybe we just have to get lucky in the existing jungle locations to come across this thing but regardless, there you lads and lassies have it. A little bit of a look and sneak peek into the dinosaurs that are going to be coming to an incubator near you. And I could not be more excited for what they have in store for us, man. I cannot wait to freaking raise our own dinosaur. And as such, we definitely got to make sure that we ramp up our teak and steel bar looting. And today we'll do our best to keep on scooting. But let me know what you boys and girls think about those dinosaurs in that comment section down below. What are your guys' thoughts on the role that the raptor or the triceratops might play? Do you guys think that there might be more dinosaurs coming down the line? Because I think that's, the, that's how I think it'll happen. I think that this is how it starts with these two kind of being the main types of dinosaurs we'll be able to interact with. But then it will escalate, right? And we will get like new dino, dinosaur breeds that we can incubate and like, I don't know, grow up and go to battle with and just like, ah, dude. I'm so freaking hyped for it, and hopefully lads and lassies are as well. So make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell to stay in the loop with Jurassic Survival as more information comes out, as new updates come out, and all that type of jazz. But with this up and date, and with this as being the first Jurassic Survival video we've made in a little while, definitely some stuff that I wanted to go over because, dude, it's some big stuff, man. Seeing a look at those dinosaurs, that is probably one of, if not the biggest thing. I think that's honestly, no, that is the biggest update currently awaiting things oh no i'm starting to miss bolts on the dilophosaur no damn dillo there you go the dillo has fallen and the orneoliosis over there now, hopefully these dinosaurs stop attacking me so i can loot this airdrop in peace but we can see that the locations are also covered in this wonderful blanket of snow although unlike a normal blanket i can't imagine this is a warm one. Ooh, we got our hands a little bit of a winchester honestly i might go and give that a little bit of a go man because i think I think the Winchester is going to be interesting because I don't think that we actually miss when we can use the Winchester because it's like more of a single shot type of weapon, right? It's kind of like a weak shotgun pretty much, actually. Honestly, because the shotgun is like 25 damage a pop and has like a similar-ish type of fire rate, but okay. There we have the first aid location. We can see that obviously it does follow with what we were expecting. Now what I want to go and see, right? But I want to invest in the gate. Let's go to the most dangerous of the jungles that there is. Billy Mays here. There's more. I'm intrigued. And I want to see if maybe we might be able to come across that egg already, man. You know, always worth a go. A little bit of investigation. Never hurt nobody. It said that it'd be in the depths of the jungles. And this looks pretty jungly. Looks pretty dangerous. Looks like a prime location if you ask me. But yeah, let me know what your boys and girls think about that egg as well. Because like it says it's going to be in the jungle. But personally, 
I feel like the egg might be gotten from like a new type of location. Maybe it'll be like some loot that we could get in the bunker lab or like the laboratory because I don't know. It could like be some kind of experiments they were running on the egg or something like that. Or I don't know. I feel like it might be able to be found in the wild from some of the hints and tidbits that we were seeing. But then I, I feel I definitely could see it being like a new location or new event that pops up. That we gotta investigate, you know. What a velociraptor, you! I will have a pet version of you soon, baby. Oh, because that, that's the grown up version of what we're going after, man. But, dude, I will say, this snow does look beautiful. And it'd be pretty cool if they even just keep the snow around, man. If it was like a, a little, little, like, random event. That could appear like sometimes it just started snowing or something like that. Or if there was like a snow event. What up, Adillo? I wish this thing did like, oh, no, I smell bad. No. My nightmares have come true. Man, I was trying. My New Year's resolution was to smell good at survival games. The Dill Officer is not a fan of that New Year's resolution, man. Oh, thank you for the fangs, though. Those, unfortunately, at the moment, do not come in handy. Before, though, they were pretty handy since we could use them and trade them in for extra tickets within the Battle Royale location that hopefully we see a return of soon as well. But okay, there, I just want to get a little bit of a sneak peek, a little bit of a taste of the winter zones. And it is cool to see that indeed we do. Everything is winterized. I wonder if the bunker itself is also wintry, but yeah, this thing over here, unfortunately, Access is denied at the moment, but that was such a cool location because literally, man, Battle Royale. It was a Battle Royale mini game, a Battle Royale event, right? Where it was randomly generated. You got to loot up. You got to get some armor and to go along with it all. If you ended up in a top position, top three to be exact, you got a really good crate that you could pop open, man. You guys have probably seen some of the older videos. If not, literally just look up Star Snipe, Jurassic Survival, Battle Royale, or like Mad Dogs Arena in YouTube, and you guys will see what I'm talking about. It was such a cool freaking location, man. One of, if not my favorites, by far, within any survival game ever. Let's go ahead and take a shower. Access my like poop. And then we'll make our way over to the bunker and see what that is looking like today. But, dude, we... I don't know. It feels good to be building over here in the base a little bit again. And to kind of know what we need for the incubator. And that the bunker is going to be big in helping us get those steel bars and teak planks that we require. Everything else is pretty, much, pretty within the realm of reason, if you ask me. Except that ceramic lamp. Which also, I do wonder where we might be able to get it from. I wonder if it'll be added as loot that we'll be able to get over in bunker or not bunker but laboratory alpha or per schnapps or if it'll be something hmm, i don't know more along the lines of something that's gotten within uh some sort of a, also like a new location maybe wherever we get the dinosaur eggs although the ceramic lamp seems a little bit more man-made so i can definitely see that being more within a man-made type of context if you ask me but we're sorry about the up there regardless Let's see what we can get out of here. And we are pretty, actually, we are ready to go with some of those ration coupons. So we should be able to pop open a bit of a crate as well. And then we'll uh, take down some mutations down here. Because what lies within? Is this snowy? Dude, I think it might be a little bit snowy. Hey, dude, the, <laughs> dude, this is freaking dope. Literally, the river is frozen over. You what, mate? No longer are these dudes drowning. No, we don't need lifeguard duty anymore now. They're just flying either face down in the ice and or frozen within the ice regardless. Dude, that is awesome to see. They really took this whole winter theme to the max. Everything is a winter theme in Jurassic Survival and that... Dude, that's something you love to see, man. You'll love to see that attention to detail. And hopefully we see that level of detail when we are, uh, you know, battling alongside some of our, uh, mm, some of our new dinosaur brethren. As we were looking at so from that incubator. Dude, that, I'm just, I'm just so freaking excited for that to finally come, man. Like, that's going to be such an awesome feature. That's a feature that I've been waiting for ever since the first time I stepped foot into Jurassic Survival, right? Like, it... That's just gonna be something special, man. I'm so freaking looking forward to it. If you boys and girls are looking forward to it, hit that like button and let a lad know. For now, let's mow down some of these Velociraptors 
and other shenanigans before they get the opportunity. Oh, dude, I better not start smelling bad again soon. We gotta kill this freaking Dilophosaur before he decides to start spitting again because he likes to spit pretty quickly. Let's get a no! Couple more bolts of this fella over here. And death to the Dillo! Uh, this loot over here, I will leave with the dinosaurs. Let's pop our way into Laboratory Alpha. Let's pop open one of those crates and let's see if we can't get our hands on some of the valuables that we're looking for such as the steel bar teak planks and whatnot so hello how are you doing dr freeman i don't know why you're taking a vacation from uh the game known as uh, half-life but you are but you are dude that box looks did they change how these boxes look man dude i'm not gonna lie that looks more terrifying Maybe now we'll be able to find the ceramic lamp in there, but let's go and see what we got within this crate over here because this is a pretty marvelous crate on its own. And whoa! We got a pretty good weapon in the form of the Scar L. And check it out, baby! We got some steel bars that I will be putting into my inventory immediately. Also, this aluminum plate. I definitely want to make sure to grab that a little bit. That is a pretty cool weapon, if you ask me. Obviously, the scar is really nice, too. Mm. Honestly, I will put away... I'll put away the rubber for now. I just mainly want to be grabbing the most valuable of the most valuable things that we got. Let's chow down on that. Actually, I'll go and grab that rubber now there. And uh, okie dokie. Let's start going into the depths of the bunker. Because uh, this is where they're going gets interesting this is where we can find some of that steel where we can find some of those teak planks and also find some of the coupons we need to pop open entirely new types of crates right such as uh well we are one away from that coupon over there the, the mixtape cds dropping some fire boy and over there you can see those lower floors another thing that i'm looking forward to seeing and honestly man i don't know i feel like we might be able to find the, that egg down in here the incubator because like they're obviously doing some dinosaur related exper experiments down here i don't think you know having baby dinosaurs would be out of the realm of possibility you know i don't know definitely just a little bit of food for thought over there let me know what you lads and lassies do think about it all in the end let's see what we got within some of these crates and let's see the type of damage we can do to some of the schmucks awaiting us okay because I, I there's the thing i want to get some sneak attacks off into here too I think this fella, yeah, he's gonna start heading this way, so I'm gonna try and avoid him. What I wanna do is hit him with a boop in the back of the head. Cause that, that's the freaking Hulk, dude. I don't know if you've seen any Marvel movies lately, but uh, the Hulk, Hulk smash. Hulk like smash. I don't want to get smashed, okay? I do the smashing, so Mr. Hulk, yeah, yeah, eat some battle axe, baby. And then let's get a little bit of separation from that feller over there. Let's toss on the UMP and put some of the finishing blows into our buddy over there. And ooh, he is dropping some of those ration coupons. Not what I am in business for, but I won't say no to it because it does still come pretty in handy. We definitely want to pop open this room on the right. We know for a fact that it can have some really, really interesting stuff within. I will equip this battle X over here. Ooh, a little bit of supplies to help us through the trials and tribulations. Yeah, yeah. That await us. Dude, this battle axe is freaking dope. I no, I didn't want you to see me. I want to hit you from the back, man. That would have made my life significantly easier. But thank you for contributing to my floppy disk fun. I wish I had this many floppy disks last day on Earth, man. That would make me such a happy camper. But this, this makes me a happy camper right over here. Woo! The Benelli M4 semi-automatic shotgun rain. We're gonna go and uh, equip that here shortly. I will return for that. First things first, I wanna make a little bit of room in our inventory and no better way then by booping some zombies upside. Oh, he noticed me. Was not expecting this. Upside that, gotta be careful because that guy likes the spit as well. No, 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 not today, buddy. Not today. Let's get the UMP re-equipped. We got plenty of weaponry to help us with the challenges that await us today. Let's try and put the finish in. No! Blows into him. Let's get a couple more bullets into you. Let's heal up and sayonara, mother Woo! trucker. Now we got all the mixtape CDs that we need. We are set on that front. You'll love to see it, lads. 
And let's go and try to get a couple more bullets over here into... Hello, this guy. What's up? And then we got to get a little bit of separation here in a second. Because, yeah, we did get a little bit of uh, that stuff happened there. Let's equip the pistol. And let's go ahead and... Pew, 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 put the finishing blows into the one by one. And, I mean, I wouldn't mind some more mixtape CDs. I might have enough for the thing that I was looking for. But, uh... You know, I like what I got over here. So why don't we go ahead and see what is within these lockers over here and see if there's anything juicy awaiting us. A eh, little bit of rope, not the juiciest, but alrighty. We did indeed get enough of these mixtape CDs, so I'm a little bit tempted. And also, dude, we lucked out and got some really good stuff over here in the form of this significantly faster firing shotgun rain, baby. That has piqued my interest quite a little bit because I love shotguns and I love being able to dish out a lot of damage. That right there, that's the best of both worlds, baby. We still got a little bit of this floor to clear out, right? But that is something that we could go ahead and do next time because, uh, well, your lad over here does indeed need to jet. I do need to run a little bit, but I wanted to definitely cover this update a little bit, show you guys a lot of what I was talking about and, well, definitely go over the incubators and a lot of that information that has been coming out. That's probably, not even probably, dude. I'm pretty confident that's going to be the next major update that Jurassic Survival receives. But I want to show off this little bit more of a minor update as well. Definitely show off the snow. Get a little bit in theme with that. And uh, lads and lassies, when we return, we are dropping our mixtape CDs. <coughs> Lovingly referred to as the Lab Archive EP. We're going to be dropping that. We're going to be seeing what that box contains. And hopefully, we'll be getting steps closer to the ultimate box that has a very, look, that looks like a very dangerous box, man. We're gonna try and get to the bottom of that as well. But with that said, with that done, that is good way to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.